What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fully customize your workspace, manipulate and rearrange the windows in, in any way you see fit, and how to detach them from your workspace if you're working with a dual monitor and you want to put a specific panel on a different screen. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Now let's get started. <laughs> Now if you head down here in the timeline, this is the standard default layout. If you notice, if you head up into the toolbar, there's already some preset layouts for you. There's the assembly layout, there's the basic editing, color correction, effects, the audio. All these are kind of by default inside of Premiere Pro. Let's just say you want to customize it for you specifically. Or if you're sharing a computer with someone and they have their specific layout and you have yours, this is the way to make multiple custom layouts. So you can obviously, if you want to just resize, you can grab the handles in between each panel and just kind of move it up and move it over. You can always do that. Or if you want to fully detach and move them, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing, I'm just going to head back up here to the window where it says workspace, head down to reset to save layout. This is going to bring it back just to that standard layout again. So let's start moving some panels around. To start off with, we have the timeline panel here, we have the project panel here, we have the source panel here, and we have the program panel here. So let's just say I want the bottom half to be just my timeline. So I want to move this project panel and I want to add it up in here with the source panel. So if you notice, if you click on here, you're going to see the little white box to the right of the mouse. Same thing over here, it's going to be two. If you grab and lift, you can see it changes. It has different sections. So you can put it here to the right, you can put it underneath, you can put it here to the left, you can put it on top. Same thing over here. Everywhere you're going to move it, you have those options of which section within that section you want to put it. But what I want to do is I want to move this project panel up in here, and I actually want to put it underneath this. So I'm going to grab it, lift it up, oh, wait to see the boxes, grab it, lift it up, and you can see here I have the choice of the, where the blue is where it's going to land. So I want it to be underneath that. So I'm going to let go. So now it's placed that panel underneath the source panel, and then it's completely stretched out my timeline across the entire bottom, which is what I wanted. So I can have more space to work with. And then of course, after you do that uh, rearranging, you can obviously, like I said, manipulate size to whatever you know proportion you want. Let's bring it up a little bit. Now let's just say you're working with two monitors and you actually want to move, you have two monitors, you want to move your program monitor and you want to put on a completely different screen. So let's just say you have here, and let's just pretend this is another screen here. You can grab it like you would before, bring it, and completely let it go, and it'll detach to a separate window. So now you can move this window in that second monitor. So let's just have that and pretend that's in the second monitor, everything's all custom, exactly the way you want it. Now let's say you want to save it like this. Head up to Window, go to where it says Workspace, come down here where it says Save as New Workspace. So because we're pretending this is on a separate monitor, I'm going to title this Two Monitor Setup. So now we have two monitor setup. I'm going to click OK. Now you notice in here where we talked about all these pre set layouts, you notice here it's added that two monitor setup. So if I wanted to go back to just do the basic editing setup and then go to Reset Workspace, it'll bring me right back. To that and then say now I want to jump back all I need to do is go up here to the shortcut click two monitor setup it automatically changes to have that separate it stretch my timeline out and I have these two panels up here split like I wanted before and then say you decide you don't want that setup anymore you can always go here to the right hand side click on it say edit workspace and then you're gonna come down here these are all the ones you see that are pre-done up in the top menu here but you're also going to see that two monitor setup. You can click on it and then just click delete. Click OK. Now that's completely deleted. You can close that out and then just come back here and go back to basic editing. You're starting off with a standard default menu. Now, if you ever get lost or you can't find certain windows, always come up to the window tab here, go into workspaces, and then come down here where it says reset save layout. So let's just say I'm down here and I accidentally closed down my timeline. I actually closed the whole window down. So now the timeline has disappeared. All I need to do is come up here to the top where it says window, go to workspace, head down where it says reset to save layout, 
it'll automatically come back. Timeline is here. I can put my sequence back in there. I'm good to go. Anyway, I hope that helped. You can rearrange and manipulate these windows in any order, any shape, any combination you want. Save it to your custom layout. That way you can get to work faster and not waste time constantly moving windows around the way you want them. Anyway, hope that helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later. Later.